हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अप्लीकेशन ऑफ कोलरास्क लॉ लास्ट क्लास आई हैव डिस्कस्ड कोलरास्क लॉ एंड आल्सो आई डिस्कस्ड डिग्री ऑफ डिसोसिएशन एंड डिसोसिएशन कॉन्स्टेंट टू एक्सप्रेशन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड डिग्री ऑफ डिसोसिएशन दैट इज द अल्फा एंड अल्फा इज कल टू आई टोल्ड यू लैमडा एम डिवाइडेड बाई लैमडा एम एट इनफाइनाइट डायल्यूशन और यू कैन टेल लैमडा एम एट जीरो कंसनट्रेशन बहुत आर सेम देन अल्फाइजिकल टू लैमडा एम डिवाइडेड बाई लैमडा एम इन्फिनिटी एंड डिसोसिएशन कॉन्स्टेंट दैट इज इक्वल टू ऑलरेडी यू नो दैट इज दैट विल बी सी अल्फा इन टू सी अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस वन माइनस अल्फा इन टू सी फ्रॉम द केमिकल इक्लिब्रियम रिएक्शन यू नो दिस थिंग्स के 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 ए के ए के ए ए मीन्स फॉर एसिड के बी फॉर बेस देन डिसोसिएशन कॉन्स्टेंट इज इक्वल टू कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स डिवाइडेड बाई कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ रिएक्टेंट्स एट इक्लिब्रियम पोजिशन देन C alpha into C alpha for both products. Suppose it is acetic acid, then acetic acid gives C S three, C S three C double O plus H plus ion means hydrogen ion. It gives two product, acetate ion and H ion. Then uh, alpha if degree of hydrolysis is alpha, then it will give. alpha moles cation alpha moles hydrogen ion and at equilibrium 1 minus alpha will be remaining if suppose number of moles you have taken you can say c c moles then now at equilibrium what will be the situation then c into 1 minus alpha that will be remaining undissociated and Product will be C alpha, C alpha cation, C alpha anion. Then just K is equal to you know, kind of this product of concentration, products of concentration, ah, huh? divided by uh, means uh, concentration of uh, multiplication. I am talking about that. Uh, Two products here. Here it is there. Two products. Two products are there. Then uh, both product you multiply. Multiplication of both products divided by divided by reactants. Reactants. Then here C alpha into C alpha divided by C into one minus alpha. Then one C one C will be cancelled out. Then C alpha square divided by one minus alpha will remain. Now alpha value you put here. Degree of degree of dissociation eighty percent sixty percent ninety percent that alpha alpha tell means like that way. I give an example. Out of hundred marks you got sixty marks, seventy marks. Then seventy divided by hundred. Because that uh, uh, this uh, lambda m means at any concentration, lambda m means molar conductivity at any concentration. At any concentration, C you can tell divided by molar concentration at infinite dilution. That is the difference. Then that uh, alpha value you put here, lambda m divided by lambda m infinity. Then After putting this value, then uh, after solution, after simplification, 
finally you will get c lambda m square divided by lambda m infinity in bracket lambda m infinity minus lambda m okay then this is a important relation then uh, while solving the numericals this you will use now i am going to discuss applications of kuldask law using kuldask law of independent migration of ions it is possible it is possible to calculate lambda lambda m infinity for any for any electrolyte with the help of or from the lambda lambda infinity of lambda here you are using for ion okay you will calculate lambda m lambda m in uh, lambda m infinity by by use of ion by use of electrolyte ion that is a lambda that is a lambda you can say infinity for ion ionic infinity you can say ionic infinity at lambda uh, at uh, this in infinite at infinite dilution or you can tell zero concentration what is the uh, this conductivity of ion conductivity of ion at infinite dilution ion i am talking about from the ions means for cation and for an ion if you are knowing then lambda m m means molar molar conductivity will no that is for salt like nacl kcl csl2 mgcl2 for that you will come to know by you can say lambda lambda m in you can say lambda m at infinite dilution for ions from the ions you will get for salts a simple way from the ions conductivity at infinite dilution you will get the uh, molarity uh, conduct uh, distance uh, lambda m molar conductivity of salt correct from the ions that is simple thing sir then now uh, this uh, this i have already discussed uh, then uh, that is a kolask law you can say that is the kolask law moreover for weak electrolyte like acetic acid it is possible to determine the value of the dissociation constant dissociation constant k okay dissociation constant ka for acid ka uh, this uh, for the dissociation constant value we can know once we know the lambda m and lambda m at infinity means uh, k formula you know there uh, there you are you require actually uh, for ionic conductivity you know you know ionic conductivity as well as molar conductivity both uh, you require hence uh, by the use of kolask law easily you can know the this uh, dissociation constant also then this uh, i will clear it by some numericals okay numericals are easy numericals are easy uh, now you can understand very easily because you are knowing the concept then question i am reading then i will uh, give the solution okay i will give explanation question is that calculate lambda m infinity lambda m infinity or at zero concentration okay any one both are same calculate lambda m infinity for cacl2 and mgso4 from the data from the actually i will tell you some values from that values some common value you should know okay 
that value is given value is given i will tell the value okay then how will you calculate how will calculate the you can say lambda m infinity lambda m lambda m infinity for as per example here in question they have given calcium chloride and magnesium sulfate for that you have to calculate then uh, actually some common uh, this uh, you should know uh, value of ions conductivity conductivity of uh, ions you should know at infinite dilution then here for uh, these things uh, hydrogen ion hydrogen ion what is its conductivity that is actually at 298 kelvin this value is at 298 kelvin means 25 degree centigrade then hydrogen ion value for few i will tell you for hydrogen ion its value is that is actually simon per centimeter square per mole okay this value is in uh, simon centimeter square per mole then for hydrogen ion its value is 349.6 sometimes you remember it will be easy for you hydrogen ion 349.6 and for sodium 50.1 50.1 here you can see hydrogen is more because it is lightest atom you can tell lightest atom in that also h plus is there electron is not there only proton is there then obviously lighter ion will move fast that's why for h ion value is very high 349 i am the highest actually 349.6 for sodium ion it is 50.1 for potassium 73.5 for calcium calcium is heavier CA two plus what is value? Then now hundred nine point zero. Okay, it is heavy, heavy than sodium and potassium. Its value is hundred nine point zero. Magnesium, it should be around uh, that only. Around calcium, then it is correct also. It is hundred eight point, uh, not hundred six, hundred six. Uh, point zero, you can say, hundred six point zero. Its value is given. Then now for magnesium, you are knowing calcium. You are knowing calcium is hundred nineteen point zero. Magnesium is hundred six point zero. Now this I did told you about that. This cation for anion, for anion, then uh, for OH ion, its value is. One ninety nine point one, one ninety nine point one, for chloride ion seventy six point three, bromide ion again almost same seventy six point one, acetate ion forty point nine, forty point four zero forty point nine acetate ion C H three C double O one minus. For that value is forty point nine four zero point nine roughly forty one you can tell and sulfate ion SO four two minus SO four two minus sulfate ion its value is one sixty point zero sulfate is heavy sulfate is heavy one sixty point zero this I have told you some common some common. Uh, You can say values of conductivity, conductivity of ions at infinite dilution. Then now calcium, magnesium. You remember, hundred nine is for calcium, and hundred six is for magnesium, and uh, for chloride, chloride seventy seventy six point three. Here in this numerical, that you will use. Because you have to calculate lambda m infinity for calcium chloride and magnesium sulfate is there. Then sulfate already uh, I have told you 
that value is for sulphate is 160 sulphate is 160 now easily you can calculate lambda m at infinity lambda m for calcium chloride means salt lambda m at infinite dilution easily you can calculate cause that is equal to you can break into iron then calcium chloride means you require for ions means ionic conductivity at at infinity ionic conduct ionic conductivity at infinity for calcium plus ionic ionic conductivity at infinite dilution for for what uh, for chloride for chloride then two chloride will be there and one one calcium ion and two chloride, chloride ion then two chloride the chloride ion value you are knowing two into chloride ion value and for calcium ionic ionic conductivity of calcium and ionic conductivity of of uh, chloride ion both at infinite dilution or at infinity both value are knowing just you put and add correct calcium chloride for uh, this uh, lambda lambda infinity for calcium chloride is equal to ionic conductivity for calcium ion plus ion 2 into ionic conductivity of chloride ion correct now you put the value for calcium it is 119 simon centimeter square per mole unit also you remember plus plus chloride 2 chloride and chloride ion is there then 2 into 76.3 simon centimeter square per mole okay then now both you add that is the calcium chloride value that is the calcium chloride value means 109 109 plus just to multiply 2 into 76 it value will come 152 152.6 then again you both you add you will get 271.6 simon centimeter square per mole this is the value for calcium chloride lambda m in free value i told you now same way lambda lambda m value for magnesium sulfate you can calculate for magnesium sulfate then same way lambda m infinity lambda m infinity of magnesium sulfate mgso4 there right in bracket near the lambda m only mgso4 that is equal to now uh, ionic conductivity at infinity plus ionic conductivity of uh, for magnesium and for uh, sulfate both you have to add ionic conductivity of magnesium plus ionic conductivity of sulfate both at infinite dilution that is equal to just to add it you are one it will give magnesium sulfate will give one magnesium ion one sulfate ion then now both value you are knowing magnesium is 106 and uh, this sulphate is 160 160 both you add then you will get 266 266 simon centimeter square per mole see how easily you calculated but here you should know both are uh, you can say ionic calcium chloride magnesium sulphate both are ionic if you dissolve in water then uh, you can't tell it is a very strong like NHL KCL but more than this uh, organic more than organic compound okay then here you have calculated then the, uh, when, when you were knowing the ionic value if uh, you were knowing then uh, from the ionic value you got the salt value means mole mole for calcium sulfate 
a pore calcium chloride and magnesium sulfate we got it now another numericals i am telling you this is very easy for the men engineering men it can can be asked okay it is very easy now uh, for another question i am telling you lambda m value lambda infinity value for nacl hcl and sodium acetate are given okay question i am reading now delta m infinity for nacl hcl and sodium acetate are 126.4 425.9 and 91.0 simon centimeter square per mole this is the salt value salt mole okay not for the ions not for the ions then three values they have given nacl hcl and sodium acetate sodium acetate is in a shortcut naac is for acetate only two letter you can use ac ac means acetate then sodium acetate naac you can tell is given then what you have to find out calculate calculate you calculate uh, lambda lambda m infinity for acetic acid acetic acid hac hac means ac means acetate ion ch3 c double o one minus but h is hac means acetic acid hac for hac you have to calculate at infinite dilution then here this question is very typical okay and can be asked even the advance also main also advance also it is not so easy but because you know the concept it is easy only okay for those who are not knowing for them it is difficult but now you are knowing then it is easy then uh, here what you have to do uh, last class i told you you want acetic acid ch3 c double oh lambda infinity of acetic acid you want then you want only for two ion acetate ion and h ion acetate ion ionic ionic conductivity of acetate ion and and ionic conductivity of h ion you require then for that purpose three salt value they have given correct that is for a, a, they have given nacl hcl and sodium acetate value is given then simply in mind you can calculate eh, you want acetic acid ch3co plus h plus these two terms you want and three three value they have given nacl hcl sodium acetate then uh, you, a, a sodium acetate value is given then a sodium acetate in mind you can calculate sodium acetate means it will give acetate ion plus sodium ion then acetate ion you require this na ion is extra extra things you have to remove you have to minus it then for that purpose now you have to might you have to consider nacl nacl value is given in bracket write nacl lambda lambda nacl you write lambda and uh, near the lambda near the m where you writing there nacl you write okay this is value at infinite dilution then na value is there n is nacl is there then you have written bracket this you have to do minus because that na in the beginning with acetate which was there that that plus na should cancel out with this minus na minus na then plus na minus na will be cancelled out then now minus cl will remain 
माइनस सी एल विल रिमेन बिकॉज एन ए सी एल वॉज एन ए प्लस प्लस सी एल माइनस यू हैव रिटर्न इन ब्रैकेट देन नाउ मीन्स ए लैमडा यू शुड राइट मेक प्रैक्टिस राइट नॉट ओनली एन ए लैमडा आयोन आयोनिक आयोनिक कैन से लैमडा यू हैव टू राइट आयोनिक आयोनिक वैल्यू ऑफ यू कैन से सोडियम आयन आयोनिक एन ए प्लस प्लस आयोनिक सी एल माइनस इन इन साइड ब्राइकेट बोथ आर इन प्लस बट आउट साइड माइनस यू हैव रिटर्न बोथ विल बी इन माइनस वेन यू विल रिमूव द ब्राइकेट देन नाओ प्लस एन ए माइनस एन ए गॉन कैश देन माइनस सी एल इज रिमेनिंग माइनस सी एल इज रिमेनिंग ओके बट डायरेक्टली डोंट राइट ओनली माइनस सी एल एम प्लस एन ए माइनस एन ए नो यू मेक इन द बिगिनिंग वन स्टेप यू टेक जस्ट यू राइट आयोनिक लेमडा यू राइट आयोनिक लेमडा एंड डाउन ओनली यू राइट एन ए प्लस एन आई लेमडा सी एल माइनस विथ लेमडा यू राइट नॉट डायरेक्टली एन ए प्लस और सी एल माइनस यू राइट वेन यू आर राइटिंग यू राइट विथ लेमडा लेमडा दैट इज ऑल्सो फॉर इन्फिनिटी At ten for that that ten for it is simple. You have to write. Then anyhow, for understanding and understanding purpose, Na plus Na minus Na cancelled. Then now minus Cl is remaining. Then you have to remove this Cl also. You don't want Cl. You want H. Then now third value is given HCl in question. It is given HCl. Then again here. Uh, A C L is there. A minus C L is given, and minus C L is remaining. Hence, they required plus C L, plus C L, and plus H required because a state ion is already there. Then H C L you write plus H C L. Only for any C L you have written minus because you wanted to remove both sodium and chloride ion. You wanted to remove. That's why you have written minus. But here you want H plus H you require, and minus Cl is there. Then plus Cl required. That's why plus HCl you write. Plus HCl means lambda, lambda. It is given that is for salt. Then lambda uh, m there you write HCl. This is for infinity upside infinity sign or zero sign you can write. But whatever you are writing, either everywhere zero you write or everywhere lambda you write. Okay, not like mixing. Then now here Cl Cl also will cancel. Then only two terms will remain. Lambda acetate ion will remain, and uh, lambda H ion will remain. Ionic, ionic lambda acetate ion, ionic lambda H ion is remaining. Then you got the C C C S three C double O. You got an H plus also you got, hence if you will add both ionic you will add ionic acetate ion plus ionic H ion, then you will get lambda M more lambda M salt that is a acetic acid you got. That is a different symbol lambda, both are called a lambda. That is for salt one is for salt one is for ions. Then now like this way. Uh, you require then uh, while is solving suppose in a board examination suppose you are solving then you have to first you write the distinction how will you get uh, acetic acid with the use of these three salt in question it is given then that you will write automatically you will write uh, uh, you you have to arrange it you write lambda h plus lambda acetate Okay. Uh, after that, you will write uh, this. Actually, this you want acetic acid. For acetic acid, uh, you require lambda H, ionic lambda H plus ionic ionic acetate. Then how will you get? Then that you now is equal to write three salt you use now in ionic form. Then just to write all you write lambda H, lambda H. For H C L you write lambda H, ionic lambda H plus ionic ionic lambda 
सी एल इट्स सी एल इज ओवर बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट फॉर प्लस फॉर्म एंड सो आप बहुत आर इन प्लस नाउ प्लस एसिटेट यू राइट सोडियम एसिटेट सोडियम एसिटेट देन आयनिक सोडियम यू विल राइट प्लस आयनिक एसिटेट यू विल राइट ऑल आर इन्फिनिटी इन्फिनिटी यू आर राइटिंग एंड माइनस यू राइट माइनस राइट एन एस सी एल देन माइनस आयोनिक 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 मीन्स लैमडा यू हैव टू राइट आयोनिक लैमडा एन ए प्लस माइनस आयोनिक लैमडा सी एल सी एल ओके ऑल आर एट इनफाइनाइट डायलूशन आई दर यू राइट इन्फिनिटी और जीरो एनी वन बट यू फॉलो एनी वन आई दर जीरो और इन्फिनिटी एवरी वेयर यू शुड राइट देन आफ्टर दैट फॉर ए सी एल वैल्यू इज गिवन फॉर ऑल वैल्यू इज गिवन यू नो दैट वैल्यू राइट फॉर ए सी एल इट इज फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट नाइन एंड फॉर एसिटेट इट इज गिवन नाइन्टी वन पॉइंट जीरो एंड फॉर एन एस सी एल वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर करेक्ट इट इज गिवन वन वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर दैट इज अ साइमन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर पर मोल then now uh, both 425 plus 91 you add and deduct 126.4 you will get 390.5 simon centimeter square per mole very easy first to write in ionic form ionic form correct after that salt form you write first ionic form all all three salt you write in ionic form After that, uh, next step you write complete salt. First ion in the form of ions. Up as for example, in the form of ions you have written for H separate, Cl separate, H plus Cl minus. है ना? H state ion you have written CS three C double O minus H plus for sodium state plus NaCl that time minus N minus N minus Cl you have written. Then now next step you write directly. एस सी एल प्लस प्लस सोडियम एसिटेट मीन सी एस थ्री सी डबल ओ एन ए माइनस एन एस सी एल ओके नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज डाइट है देन वैल्यू यू पोर्ट करेक्ट देन वाट यू आर गेटिंग वाट यू विल गेट दैट इज द आंसर नाउ आई एम टेलिंग यू थर्ड थर्ड न्यूमेरिकल्स दैट कैन वी आज दिस इज दिस इज अगेन फिट फॉर एडवांस ओके दिस इज फिट फॉर एडवांस एडवांस एग्जामिनेशन आई आई टी कैन बी आस्ड और इन मेडिकल समटाइम्स मे बी आस्ड बट इट इज फिट फॉर दिस थिंग एडवांस्ड बिकॉज मोर मोर कैलकुलेशन इज हेयर नाउ आई एम रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन द कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन जीरो टू एट मोल पर लीटर एस्टिक एसिड इज फोर पॉइंट नाइन फाइव इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस फाइव साइमन पर सेंटीमीटर कंडक्टिविटी वैल्यू इज गिवन द कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन जीरो टू एट पर मोल एस्टिक एसिड पर मोल एस्टिक एसिड दैट इज द कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ एस्टिक एसिड दिस इज द कंसनट्रेशन एंड इट्स वैल्यू इज फोर पॉइंट नाइन फाइव इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस फाइव साइमन पर सेंटीमीटर इट इज गिवन वाट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट कैलकुलेट द डिसोसिएशन कॉन्स्टेंट इफ लेमडा एम इन्फिनिटी फॉर एस्टिक एसिड इज ए थ्री नाइन्टी फाइव थ्री नाइन्टी पॉइंट फाइव साइमन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर पर मोल यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट के वैल्यू K value calculate the dissociation constant. If acetic acid means lambda m infinity is given, lambda m infinity is given for acetic acid, that is a three ninety point five Simon centimeter per square per mole. Centimeter square per mole. What you calculated now? Same value is there for acetic acid. Then why they have given this value? Uh, this infinity value, lambda m at infinity, 
that value is given for stick acid why because in a k in k a we require this value for k a we require this value for stick acid i have given example that time for stick acid only uh, here in question also it is stick acid only then uh, one time uh, actually in formula one time not one time two time uh, we require lambda m value lambda m value uh, you require two times at infinity lambda m at infinity for stick acid you require <coughs> two times and uh, two times you require molar molar activity a uh, molar resistant conductivity at any concentration at any concentration then then here uh, it is a given both value is given conductivity conductivity with molar conductivity value at a given concentration that is 0.001028 mole per liter that is a con that uh, this is given con this in concentration at at this concentration that 4.95 value is there that is the molar conductivity value they have given at this concentration correct then now actually uh, if you will use the formula then there in that formula you require actually alpha value you need alpha value okay because uh, if you will know the alpha value alpha value then only k value you can use c alpha into c alpha divided by divided by c into 1 minus alpha correct then uh, you require alpha value then alpha means degree of dissociation then you have to calculate degree of dissociation then for the degree of dissociation required two value that is the this uh, uh, molar conductivity value you want and molar conductivity in molar conductivity at infinite at infinite dilution that also is required and both value is given both value is given in question lambda m lambda m value is given divided by lambda m infinity value is also given then just you put the value you will get the uh, you can say uh, result alpha value you will get then uh, alpha value you will get then you require lab, lambda uh, both value one lambda m and lambda m infinity then here uh, lambda m value is uh, this conductivity value is given not the lambda m value lambda m value is not given in question it is given ordinary conductivity value not the lambda m value okay only standard uh, infinite lambda m value is given infinite lambda m not the lambda m is given then okay no problem when conductivity uh, con this uh, concentration is given when concentration is given and uh, ordinary conductivity is given not the molar conductivity then quickly you can calculate that is the molar conductivity is equal to kappa divided by c kappa means conductivity that value is given that is 4.95 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by concentration is also given 0.001028 then now for this conductivity value is 4.95 into 10 to the power minus 5 simon per centimeter it is given per centimeter and concentration value is mole per liter mole per liter then per liter means what divided per liter means uh, whatever value they have given concentration that you can write uh, 0 0.001028 mole divided by 1000 1000 cubic centimeter you can write 1000 cubic centimeter down you have written uh, means uh, in a denominator you have written 0.001028 divided by 
1000 centimeter cube then reverse it then 1000 will go up 1000 will go up then after that if you will do simplification then you will get now uh, distance 48.15 simon centimeter cube per mole per mole you will get okay per mole centimeter cube per mole you will get then now lambda m value lambda m value now you are knowing then your all problems solved alpha easily you can calculate because lambda m and lambda m infinity both value is now you are knowing lambda infinity is given now you have calculated lambda m then both value you put then uh, lambda m value you have calculated now 48.15 simon centimeter square per mole and divided by lambda m infinity is given that is the 390.5 simon centimeter square per mole then after uh, solution after simplification you will give the value that is equal to 0 0.1233 0 0.1233 that is the alpha value now alpha value also you got all value what you required for k means c alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha c alpha square you are writing because and uh, this enumerator c was there c into 1 minus alpha that 1 c 1 c cancelled that's why c alpha square divided by 1 minus alpha is remaining now you put the value of alpha then uh, after putting the value of concentration after putting the value of concentration already given concentration is also required here then uh, c value is already given 0 0.001028 into alpha value calculated 0 0.1233 whole square divided by 1 minus alpha then 1 minus alpha you calculated 0 0.1 0 0.1233 then just to simplify it then you will get the k value then after simplification k value will come 1.78 into 10 to the power minus 5 mole per liter okay you will get the result 1.78 into 10 to the power minus 5 mole per liter you converted finally all the things uh, uh, in a liter okay mole per mole per liter all thing was given and alpha value is no unit alpha is a ratio no, no unit correct concentration is given in mole per liter hence result you will get only mole per liter okay then uh, i have discussed this uh, three numericals i think that is sufficient for understanding other numericals if you any numericals you will solve any numericals maybe another uh, uh, this uh, question may be different but only you need only this three formula keep in mind only you have to understand the question any toughest question also you can solve it no problem at all because only this three formula is required three means uh, three means one for alpha one for k and third is the kuldasko law Will ask law that three is sufficient. Any question, the first question, hardest question, you can solve it only. You try to understand the question. Okay. Question and tough question simply they will twist it so that you should not understand the question or feel difficult. But if you will uh, read the question, then you will find and sometimes uh, unnecessary data will give. You are practical time, experimental time, not that way they will give experimental value then there uh, they can write the temperature also they can write the pressure also correct or not but yet uh, you don't require temperature and pressure but the data they can write like this well if you do experiment then what was the temperature what was the pressure that also simply they will write they can write the instrument name something something they will try to make it big then you should not uh, you can say afraid of all these things now i have discussed uh, numericals and uh, 
now i am going to discuss uh, other things like uh, electrolytic cell and electrolysis electrolytic cell and electrolysis actually this is easy for you now electrolytic cell uh, galvanic cell already i have discussed then you have seen in galvanic cell that uh, you we are getting current galvanic cell or voltaic cell or daniel cell these cells uh, produce current but current comes from where then through chemical reaction through chemical reaction uh, suitable electrodes and electrolyte you we are using correct then through that reaction through that reaction during the reaction it was producing electron and it was producing ions then ions was passing through wire through wire huh? and wire was connected in order to cathode through voltmeter or ammeter then upside electron was flowing but down down in solution ions were there then flow of charge flow of charge means ions flow of ions that is also called current correct then like that way during the reaction you were getting charge also means ions cation and ion and uh, electron also we are getting then all things you were, this was getting are the both are called current only flow of electron that is also current flow of charge or ions or ions cation or anion whatever you want you can tell charge in the term of charge positive negative charge then who is carrying positive negative charge then cation cation is carrying positive charge and ion is carrying negative charge both are just like a, a, a one big truck and a small truck big truck you can keep uh, big things and a small truck you can give you can keep a small just like you can say one truck and one auto this type also you can understand ha huh? one is positive other is negative they are carrier charge carrier correct cation and ion is called a charge carrier because one is carrying positive charge other is coming carrying negative charge both are carrier but charge carrier then what type of charge if positive charge carrier then cation if negative charge carrier then anion correct then uh, this uh, i told you that in galvanic cell in galvanic cell during the uh, due to the chemical reaction current is producing but reverse of this happens in electrolytic cell reverse of this here again all things you require you require electrodes you required electrolysis electrolyte required electrolyte okay you required a not cathode but here what will happen extra things eh? now a chemical reaction you have to do simply they are not reacting you have taken chemical here you have taken chemical here but they are, they are not reacting electrolytes you have taken electrolytes means nacl solution kcl solution silver nitrate solution azn03 copper sulfate solution zno4 solution these salts are called electrolyte 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 may be hcl may be noh acid base salt all are called electrolyte because they have charge they have charge that's why uh, it is called it is called electrolyte electrolyte means uh, there there will be cation and anion charge charge will be there positive negative then here and not here also electrolytic cell electrolytic cell here uh, different i am talking about here 
and the electrode you require electrodes both electrodes you require electrolytes you require the similarity difference difference is there that you will send the current current you have to send the current this is a difference in galvanic cell current was producing chemical reaction was producing current but here chemical reaction is not taking place simply you have to take to take the chemical reaction you have to pass current from the battery from the battery external source okay voltage you have to supply wherever voltage there current will can supply then from the outside you have to supply the current means you require battery out source external source of voltage you can tell current you have to pass through how you will pass then uh, you know that uh, distance uh, in battery positive and negative two points will be there correct or not in any battery positive and negative two points will be there you have to connect from that then one electrode one electrode you can connect with uh, this anode other you can other point you can connect with cathode you have joined now anode and cathode of the electrolytic cell you have joined with the battery battery then now what will happen reaction will start because uh, one anode will be uh, one anode will function as a positive other will function as a negative one anode will now become which you, which you have joined with battery if you are joined with a negative to the one electrode then that electrode will become negative other point suppose it was positive in battery you have joined with others other electrode then that will become behave like that only positive if you have joined with positive that will function that electrode will function as positive which you have joined with a negative that will function as a negative then now see uh, here how does reaction have uh, starts uh, then now i am telling you main reason now one electrode is negative other electrode is positive and you are passing the current and voltage you have supplied then what will happen electrolytes what are the electrolytes they have positive and negative charge as for example nacl na in a positive cl minus it solution you have taken then in solution uh, na will be positive and cl will be negative and they are in solution they are migrating they can migrate they are can move then now already where it will move in which direction for that already you have done the arrangement means positive sodium na plus that will go to the opposite charge means negative plus will go to the minus and cl minus that will go to the plus means cl minus will go to the positive negative will go to the positive electrode and uh, this sodium plus means cation that will go to the negative means c to c cation will go to cathode cathode is negatively charged anode is positively charged okay but here you can simply you understand in a galvanic cell always anode will be always anode will be negatively charged and cathode will be positively charged only in case of galvanic cell but here reverse here reverse or you can tell where you are joining that will function as a negative and positive that is not a big thing okay here you understand now two electrodes are there both are uh, one is negative other is positive and salt is salt means ion is one ion is positive other ion is negative then it will move oppositely they will attract then now they are separating or you can say all ions all ions will separate out they will move fast then like that way when it they will go now they were not moving now other electrolyte like uh, magnesium chloride magnesium sulfate sulfate silver nitrate 
any things you can take as a electrolyte then they will move correct then now reaction will start how reaction will start then now see reaction means opposite opposite charge will move to each other then nacl were close now due to this they separated out both went to the opposite means reaction can take place your reaction will take place correct then this is the case here in uh, this electrolytic cell this things happens but now i am going uh, in uh, uh, details okay uh, in an electrolytic cell external source of voltage is used to bring about a chemical reaction to start the chemical reaction from the outside from the external source voltage is used the electro the electrochemical presence are of are of uh, great importance the electrochemical processes because reaction will start the electrochemical process or many process that is a processes i will can tell are of great importance in the laboratory and the chem are in chem the chemical industry this reaction this uh, electrochem chemical cell it is used in lab as well as in chemical industry one of the simplest elect, uh, electric cell i am giving example of two copper strips both are now copper strip only anode is also copper cathode is also copper that is called copper strips dipping in dipping in an uh, aqueous solution of uh, copper sulfate now see here all are copper only copper uh, this cell electrolytic cell common may be different different but here one example i am telling you that is a simplest electro electrolysis or electrolytic cell consist of two copper strips dipped in an aqueous solution of copper sulfate if a dc voltage means direct current voltage is applied to the two electrodes then cu2 plus ions means cupric ions discharge at the cathode cu2 plus that will go to the negative electrode okay here two copper you have taken what because both can be function as electrode and cathode here because you are connecting with the negative or positive through the copper current can pass either negative or positive all current can pass then here you have made one copper one copper rod you have joined with negative then it will function as a negative other you have joined copper you have joined with positive then that will function as a positive correct just like from the copper ordinary copper wire current passes either it is negative or positive that does not matter then here you have taken same type of electrode but have you, but you have joined with a different uh, you can say uh, charge one is for negative other is for positive then one elect one uh, copper will function as a negative other will function as a positive then cu2 plus here cu2 plus means copper sulfate is electrolyte copper sulfate in solution then it will break into cu2 plus plus so4 two minus then here cu plus two ions discharge at the cathode means negatively charged and the what reaction will take place then cu2 plus plus two electron because on cathode electron will be there negative charge is there and that's why the electron will be there that will supply electron then cu2 plus plus two electron it will take it will convert to copper metal means reduction reduction on cathode always reduction takes place then cu2 plus plus two electron copper it will convert to the copper metal it will deposit there it, it will collect there on the surface of that near the cathode copper will collect okay 
copper metal is deposited on the cathode and anode what will happen always in electro electro uh, this uh, electro light electrolytic cell always you think or any galvanic cell also which is anode which is cathode what is the electrolyte three things always you think for any for any cell any cell what is the electrode what is the anode means cathode anode electrolyte three things always you you should know then here you know copper copper one is working as anode other is working as a cathode and copper sulfate is electrolyte then at anode what will happen then at anode copper will dissolve at anode and it will convert to cupric ion cupric ion what i told you it came from where then through oxidation at anode at anode oxidation takes place then here that uh, it has converted copper has converted into cu2 plus plus 2 electron correct then now this you can say here here one one is one copper is functioning as anode other is functioning as a cathode then at anode it is a, it is a dissolving and giving copper ion plus electron and cathode cathode these two electron is going towards cathode cathode and this cupric ion this cu plus will go there to the cathode and it will convert to the metal then at anode oxidation takes place cu will convert to cu plus 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 2 electron this is at anode and at cathode cu 2 plus 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 2 electron that will convert into the metal means uh, you can tell this copper ion you got through a node a node and this copper ion and this electron also at an node you got two things two electron plus cu2 plus and only this electron went through upside you can tell or because already battery you have put then that is their role then this finally it at an node copper electron will reach finally at cathode this electron will reach there through a uh, battery through battery it will reach here uh, cathode that electron continuously uh, it will come here it will be there on cathode and this cu plus which was uh, which it got at anode that will come here at cathode and then it can go to the metal metal cu plus 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 2 electron it will convert to the metal then that's why here uh, at anode you can take impure copper impure copper you can impure, impure copper rod you can use as a anode always it is done like that any other metal also suppose uh, uh, now impure rod was there impure copper rod was there and you wanted and you wanted a pure copper rod then from the impure in this way will get the pure because what copper metal now deposited that is a pure then all impure copper rod will dissolve impurity also will collect only in the cell in the solution it will be there that later on you can filter it and throw it then here that that rod will dissolve fully and all copper metal iron cupric iron which was present in that impure that will that will be collected pure copper will collect here it will collect near the cathode it will deposit there that you can again separate out again again further impure rod you can fit and this process will continue this process will continue you will get pure pure copper you will get like that way if other metals you are using same thing will happen pure will collect at cathode as for example impure gold was there impure gold then uh, anode was impure gold and cathode was pure gold then now this uh, from the impure gold all go, all uh, this whatever 
uh, you can say ag was there in in impure rod that will dissolve again in same way it will come here and it will deposit on the side of cathode which was made up of cathode then you will get more gold there then like following the same process uh, suppose uh, on silver you want to put the gold gold one uh, layer then uh, one side anode you put gold gold impure gold or any gold uh, anode you can take and cut uh, silver rod you can take as a cathode then now gold will deposit there on the surface of silver it will look like uh, gold but actually only one layer is there correct then with precaution this is done okay but principle is this only then i have told you how uh, this uh, electrolyte electrolytic cell functions okay then now you can say sodium and magnesium metals are produced by the electrolysis of their fused chloride fused chloride and aluminium here another thing so you understand that uh, sodium and magnesium metals are produced sodium metal or magnesium metals are produced by the electrolysis of their fused chloride means sodium chloride from the sodium chloride you can get the sodium from the magnesium chloride you can get the magnesium it is in the chloride form sodium chloride magnesium chloride you wanted only sodium pure sodium no chloride magnesium you wanted only magnesium not chloride from the magnesium chloride only magnesium you want from the sodium chloride you want only sodium then same way same way what i discussed through electrolysis you can get it then sodium and magnesium metals are produced by electrolysis of their fused chlorides and you can say aluminum is also produced by electrolysis of aluminum oxide from the aluminum oxide again aluminum al2o3 you can you can get aluminum in presence of cryolite okay then this i have discussed about the uh, electrochemical electrochemical cell okay now uh, this uh, faraday's law are there but uh, faraday's law of electrolysis uh, it will take little more time okay i will discuss it separately in the next class okay in the next class i will discuss faraday's law and uh, how much quantity you will get many numericals is asked on the faraday's law that i will discuss in the next class okay thank you